hello guys in this video tutorial I am going to show you how to write a JavaScript code in this video I am going to take a sample JavaScript program in order to find out the factorial of a given number before writing the code I am selecting a new HTML editor that is notepad plus plus in the previous videos I have used uh, notepad but here I am using notepad plus plus for writing the program first of all before seeing how that uh, HTML code and JavaScript code combinedly works let us write the program code as usual for writing the code I am using the basic uh, HTML structure with head session the internal head session consists of uh, one more tag that is title here I am using the title as factorial of a given number using JS here again JS means JavaScript close the title come to the body part yeah here I am utilizing this body session in order to accept some number from the user so that I can find the factorial for accepting the input from the user we need to have some form controls that's why we need to develop a form that form can be developed using a tag called as form tag which is having a property name in order to identify that form but uh, in this program it is not going to reflect or it is not going to show certain differences even if you skip this name attribute for this one you are not going to find any changes here the form control I am using is the input type equal to text input type equal to text and uh, here I will uh, use a, an ID for this one to identify the values of this input and I will specify that uh, ID as uh, num right here better to specify the label so that uh, the user can in easily understand why the text box is here I will write enter number means after enter number text uh, a text box is going to display where the user will enter some number then after I am trying to display a button with a form control input type equal to button and when the user clicks on this particular button I need to perform the factorial that I am specifying here then after finding the factorial I want to display the output uh, in a separate text box again factorial of a number is here I will use a text mm, form control again that is input uh, without name I am specifying only the ID the ID is answer yeah from this I have completed uh, the body session coding then directly I will move to the script code that we can specify in the head session by using a tag called as script script language equal to this attribute is going to take what type of scripting language you are using as I am using JavaScript now I will specify its value as JavaScript now you see when the user clicks on this particular button we are requested to perform a factorial function execution that code you have to write in the script tag functions can be declared by using a keyword called as function and then after the function name here the function name is fact then here you need to write the code 
for finding out the factorial you need to take the help of uh, three different variables one is i uh, for uh, continuously executing of the loop then after number to which number you need to identify the factorial then factorial variable in order to store the result and by default what I will do is I will try to keep the factorial value as 1 I am initializing the value like that then I have to find out the factorial first for that one you need to have the number you need to cache the number that is been entered in the text box of the body session for that one you have to take the help of uh, a JavaScript object that is document and there is a method called as get element by ID this particular function is going to catch the value present in the variable here num is the ID given to the input type text box then what you need to catch you need to catch the value of that particular number then for continuously execution of the program code you need to have a for loop for i equal to 0 means the finding of a factorial has to start from 0 or otherwise you can make it as from 1 why because the factorial of 0 is always 0 and uh, i equal to 1 i need to continue to perform the factorial up to the number what the user has entered then this need to be performed continuously that's why a increment operator is needed after this here I am writing a statement that is factorial equal to factorial into i this is the logic uh, which can be performed uh, for finding out the factorial once everything is completed then I need to display the output for that one again I am using a JavaScript object document with uh, the same method get element by ID and here the answer means what is the output uh, we got dot value here how you are going to get this value means that I am going to initialize from the factorial variable see once everything is completed then you can go for saving of this program and you check whether this program is giving the output or not okay I will save this program as Actor.html on my desktop. Then go to the web browser. I am launching Internet Explorer to see the output. I, as I spoke earlier, no need to worry about these ActiveX controls. Simply right click on this bar click on allow blocked content then click on yes see the output is looking not appropriate to me I will try to make some changes here for the appearance go to the browser here here I will use a br tag so that I can get uh, each and every output in a new line then for the button no value is displaying there here that's why I will specify the value of the button as factorial now save the program again go to the web browser click on refresh button see now enter the number here I will enter the number as 4 and I will click on the factorial button see automatically factorial of a number is 24 similarly you can check the factorial for some other numbers also here I will try to check for a factorial 
of 10 then i will click on the factorial button 